Prince Shah Karim al Husseini, Aga Khan IV, Arabic, Shah Krim al Sani al Akahan, Arab Persian, Shah Krim Sani Akahan Charm Urdu, Shah Krim Sani Akahan Charm Aga Khan is also transliterated as Aqa Khan and Aga Khan, born 13 December 1936, is the 49th and current Imam and Aga Khan of Nazari Ismailism, a denomination of Ismailism within Shia Islam with an estimated 10 to 15 million adherents. 10 12% of the world's Shia Muslim population. The Aga Khan is a business magnate with British citizenship, as well as a racehorse owner and breeder. He has held this position of Imam, under the title of Aga Khan IV, since the 11th of July 1957, when, at the age of 20, he succeeded his grandfather, Sir Sultan Muhammad Shah Aga Khan III. It is believed that the Aga Khan is a direct lineal descendant of the Islamic prophet Muhammad through Muhammad's cousin and son-in-law, Ali, considered the first imam in Shia Islam, and Ali's wife Fatima as Zahra, Muhammad's daughter from his first marriage. In 1986 the Aga Khan ordained the current version of the Ismailia constitution, an ecclesiastical decree affirming to Nazari Ismailis his sole right to interpret the Quran and provide authoritative guidance on all matters of faith and formalizing his sole discretion, power and authority for the governance of Nazari Ismaili Jamits places of worship and institutions, Forbes describes the Aga Khan as one of the world's ten richest royals with an estimated net worth of $800 million 2010. Additionally he is unique among the richest royals as he does not rule over a geographic territory. Among the goals the Aga Khan has said he works toward are the elimination of global poverty, the promotion and implementation of secular pluralism, the advancement of the status of women, and the honoring of Islamic art and architecture. He is the founder and chairman of the Aga Khan Development Network, one of the largest private development networks in the world. The organization works toward improvement of the environment, health, education, architecture, culture, microfinance, rural development, disaster reduction, the promotion of private sector enterprise, and the revitalization of historic cities. Since his ascension to the Imamate of Nazari Ismailis in 1957, the Aga Khan has been involved in complex political and economic changes which have affected his Nazari Ismaili followers, including the independence of African countries from colonial rule, expulsion of Asians from Uganda. Uganda, the independence of Central Asian countries such as Tajikistan from the former Soviet Union and the continuous turmoil in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Aga Khan IV became the first faith leader to address the joint session of the Canadian Parliament on 27 February 2014. Early life Born Prince Karim Aga Khan, the Aga Khan IV is the eldest son of Prince Ali Khan (1911–1960) and his first wife, the Honorable Princess Tajadala Ali Khan, formerly the Honorable Joan Barbara Yard Buller (1908–1997), the eldest daughter of British peer third Baron Churston, born in Geneva, Switzerland, on the 13th of December 1936. Prince Karim was declared healthy despite being born prematurely. The Aga Khan's brother, Prince Amin, was born less than a year later. Their parents divorced in 1949, in part due to Prince Ali Khan's extramarital affairs, and Prince Ali Khan shortly after married American actress Rita Hayworth, with whom he had a daughter, Princess Yasmin Aga Khan, the half-sister of Aga Khan IV. The Aga Khan IV also had a half-brother, Patrick Benjamin Guinness (1931–1965), from his mother's first marriage, as Joan Yard Buller was previously married to Lowell Guinness of the Banking Guinnesses. Prince Karim spent his childhood in Nairobi, Kenya, where his early education was by private tutoring. His grandfather, Aga Khan III, engaged Mustafa Kamil, a teacher from Aligarh Muslim University, for both Prince Karim and Prince Amin. Prince Karim later attended the Institut La Rose in Switzerland, the most expensive boarding school in Europe, for nine years where he ended up with, in his words, fair grades. As a youngster Prince Karim would have preferred to attend MIT and study science, but his grandfather, Aga Khan III, vetoed the decision and Prince Karim attended Harvard University where he was elected a member of the Delphic Club. There he majored in Oriental, History. When his grandfather died, the young prince was thrust into the position of the Aga Khan IV, and he went from being not only a university student but also replacing his grandfather as the new Nazari Imam. He said about it, Overnight, my whole life changed completely. 
I woke up with serious responsibilities toward millions of other human beings. I knew I would have to abandon my hopes of studying for a doctorate in history." The Aga Khan IV graduated from Harvard in 1959, two years after becoming the Imam of the Nazari Ismailis, with a Bachelor of Arts degree in History with cum laude honors and his varsity H for football. The young Aga Khan was a competitive downhill skier, and he skied for Iran at that time led by the Shah in the 1964 Olympic Games. Marriages <laughs> 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 The Aga Khan married his first wife, former British model Sarah Frances Croker Poole, who assumed the name Begum Salama Aga Khan, on the 22nd of October 1969 civil and the 28th of October 1969 religious, at his home in Paris. The couple were married for 25 years, during which they had three children. Not many years into the marriage, they filed for divorce. By 1984, the Aga Khan and Begum Salama took to separate lives. However, their marriage did not officially end by divorce until 11 years later, in 1995. The Aga Khan and Begum Salama had one daughter and two sons together. Zara Aga Khan, born the 18th of September 1970. Rahim Aga Khan, born the 12th of October 1971. Hussein Aga Khan, born the 10th of April 1974. The Aga Khan married for the second time with Gabriele Renata Tissen, who assumed the name Begum Inara Aga Khan, at his walled compound and chateau, Aiglemont, in Gauvieu, France, on 30 May 1998. However, a little over six years later, on 8 October 2004, an announcement was made that the Aga Khan and Begum Inara were to seek a divorce. In September 2011, a divorce settlement was reached in French courts. The divorce settlement amount was agreed to by both the Aga Khan and the Begum in March 2014. By Begum Inara, the Aga Khan has a son, Ali Muhammad Aga Khan, born the 7th of March 2000. Topic: <laughs> Ascension to Nazari Ismaili Imamate. Following the death of his grandfather the Aga Khan III, Prince Karim, at the age of 20, became the 49th Imam of the Nazari Ismailis and Aga Khan IV, bypassing his father, Prince Ali Khan, and his uncle, Prince Sadruddin Aga Khan, who were in direct line to succession. In his will, the Aga Khan III explained the rationale for choosing his eldest grandson as his successor which marked the second time in the history of the Nazari Ismaili chain of imamate that a grandson of the preceding imam, instead of one of the sons of the preceding imam, was made the next imam. In view of the fundamentally altered conditions in the world has provoked many changes, including the discoveries of atomic science, I am convinced that it is in the best interests of the Nazari Ismaili community that I should be succeeded by a young man who has been brought up and developed during recent years and in the midst of the new age, and who brings a new outlook on life to his office. In light of his grandfather's will, the Aga Khan IV has sometimes been referred to by Nazari Ismailis as the Imam of the Atomic Age. The will of the Aga Khan III added that the next Aga Khan, in the first several years of his imamate, should look to the Aga Khan III's widow for guidance on general matters pertaining to the imamate. I desire that my successor shall, during the first seven years of his imamate, be guided on questions of general imamate policy, by my said wife, Yvette called Yve Blanche Labrousse Om Habiba, the Begum Aga Khan, who has been familiar for many years with the problems facing my followers, and in whose wise judgment, I place the greatest confidence. <laughs> Nazari Ismaili Imamate Upon taking the position of Imam, the Aga Khan IV stated that he intended to continue the work his grandfather had pursued in building modern institutions to improve the quality of life of the Nazari Ismailis. Takht Nashini installation of the new Imam ceremonies occurred at several locations over the course of 1957 and 1958. During this time, the Aga Khan emphasized to his followers the importance of fostering positive relations with different ethnicities, a message highly appropriate considering the racially tense atmosphere in East Africa at the time between blacks and South Asians. During the Aga Khan's installation ceremonies in the Indian subcontinent, the Aga Khan stressed his commitment to improving the standard of living of Nazari Ismailis and encouraged cooperation with individuals of other religions. 
The main themes that the Aga Khan emphasized to his community during these first few months of his imamate were material development, education, interracial harmony, and confidence in religion. In 1972, under the regime of President Idi Amin of Uganda, people of South Asian origin, including Nazari Ismailis, were expelled. The South Asians, some of whose families had lived in Uganda for over 100 years, were given 90 days to leave the country. The Aga Khan phoned his longtime friend Canadian Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau. Trudeau's government agreed to allow thousands of Nazari Ismailis to immigrate to Canada. The Aga Khan also undertook urgent steps to facilitate the resettlement of Nazari Ismailis displaced from Uganda, Tanzania, Kenya, and Burma, to other countries. Most of these Nazari Ismailis found new homes in Asia, Europe and North America. Most of the initial resettlement problems were overcome remarkably rapidly by Nazari Ismailis due to their educational backgrounds and high rates of literacy, as well as the efforts of the Aga Khan and the host countries, and moral and material support from Nazari Ismaili community programs. The Aga Khan has encouraged Nazari Ismailis settled in the industrialized world to contribute towards the progress of communities in the developing world through various development programs. He has described his role as imam as being partly to uplift the material and spiritual well-being of Nazari Ismailis, a duty which requires an understanding of Nazari Ismailis in the context of their geographic location and their time. He elaborated on this concept in a 2006 speech in Germany, saying, The role and responsibility of an imam, therefore, is both to interpret the faith to the community, and also to do all within his means to improve the quality, and security, of their daily lives and the people with whom Ismailis share their lives." This engagement of the Aga Khan with Nazari Ismailis is said to extend to the people with whom the Nazari Ismailis share their lives, locally and internationally. The Aga Khan is one of several Shia signatories of the Amman message, which gives a broad foundation for defining those denominations of Islam that should be considered as part of the wider Muslim Ummah. During the Pope Benedict XVI Islam controversy, he said, I have two reactions to the Pope's lecture, there is my concern about the degradation of relations and, at the same time, I see an opportunity. A chance to talk about a serious, important issue, the relationship between religion and logic. When the Aga Khan IV was asked about his view on the consumption of alcohol in a 1965 interview with the Sunday Times, he said, in line with Muslim teaching, Our belief is that the thing which separates man from the animals is his power of thought. Anything that impedes this process is wrong. Therefore, alcohol is forbidden. I have never touched alcohol. But this, to me, is not a Puritan prohibition. I don't want to drink. I've never wanted to drink. There's no pressure being placed on me by my religion. The status of the Imam in Nazari Ismailism The Ismailis are a community of Shia Islam, and their theology is derived from the teachings of the Shi'i Imams Ali ibn Abi Talib, Muhammad al-Bakir and Jafar al-Sadiq. According to early Shi'i Ismaili theology, God or Allah is absolutely transcendent and unique. Unlike Sunni theology where God's essence is conjoined to eternal attributes, the early Shi'i Imams emphasized a theology according to which God's essence is beyond all names and attributes. The first creation of God as a spiritual entity ruhani or light nur called the intellect aql the light of muhammad nur muhammad or the light of ali This cosmic intellect or light exists prior to the creation of the physical world and as the highest of created beings is identified with the eternal imam or the spiritual essence of the prophet muhammad and the shi imams the historical imams on earth are the locus of manifestation mazar of the light nur or intellect aql Ismaili philosophers developed these ideas further using Neoplatonic frameworks and identified the intellect AQL or light of the imam with the universal intellect nous of Plotinus. Similarly, the imam's human soul, revered as pure based on Quran 33-33 is regarded as the reflective mirror of the universal intellect. The 1975 Ismailia Association Conference, a meeting of the Aga Khan with senior Nazari Ismaili council leaders from several countries, addressed the question of the status of the imam. It mentioned, The imam to be explained as the Mazar, locus of manifestation of God, and the relationship between God and the Imam to be related to varying levels of inspiration and communication from God to man." Paris Conference Report 
The term mazar is also used in Sufi literature by Ibn Arabi, Bezels of Wisdom, Nasir al-Din al-Tusi, Contemplation and Action, The Paradise of Submission, and many others. The meaning of the word mazar denotes the idea of a mirror in which an object is reflected as an image but not incarnate. Similarly, the imam as mazar, locus of manifestation, mirror, differs greatly from the idea of incarnation or indwelling, halul, in which the divine dwells inside a material body. The imam is not seen as an incarnation of divinity. The imam is also the pir, Sufism, within Nizari Ismailism, denoting a title from the Sufi heritage of Nizari Ismaili history. Topic: <laughs> Silver Jubilee Year of Imamat. From the 11th of July 1982 to the 11th of July 1983 to celebrate the present Aga Khan's Silver Jubilee, marking the 25th anniversary of his accession to the Imamate, many new social and economic development projects were launched. These range from the establishment of the $450 million International Aga Khan University with its Faculty of Health Sciences and Teaching Hospital based in Karachi, the expansion of schools for girls and medical centers in the Hunza region one of the remote parts of northern Pakistan bordering on China and Afghanistan that is densely populated with Nazari Ismailis, to the establishment of the Aga Khan Rural Support Program in Gujarat, India, and the extension of existing urban hospitals and primary health care centers in Tanzania. Tanzania and Kenya. Noor Karimi was married during the Silver Jubilee year of Imamat and he even placed the ring on her finger. <inaudible> <inaudible> Golden Jubilee year of Imamat The 11th of July 2007 to the 13th of December 2008 marked the 50th anniversary of the Aga Khan's reign of Imamat Golden Jubilee. On this occasion, leaders representing Nazari Ismailis from different areas of the world gathered at the Aga Khan's residence to pay homage to the Imam. As part of the Golden Jubilee, the Aga Khan made official visits to various countries, using the visits to recognize the friendship and long-standing support of certain leaders of state, government, and others, to the Aga Khan and his Nazari Ismaili community, as well as to lay the foundations for certain future initiatives and programs. Areas of the world visited included the Americas, Europe, Asia, and Africa. The Aga Khan also organized a Nazari Ismaili sports meet in Kenya, and teams of Nazari Ismailis from different areas of the world came to play in this event. One of the initiatives of the Golden Jubilee was the Jubilee Games, firstly named as the Golden Jubilee Games but continued as the Jubilee Games. The first of the event held in Kenya in 2008. The second Jubilee Games were held in Dubai, UAE in July 2016. <inaudible> <inaudible> Diamond Jubilee Year of Imamat The 11th of July 2017 to the 11th of July 2018 has been designated the Diamond Jubilee Year of the Aga Khan's 60th year of reign. The Aga Khan has been traveling throughout the Diamond Jubilee year to countries where his humanitarian institutions operate to launch new programs that help alleviate poverty and increase access to education, housing and childhood development. The Aga Khan's Diamond Jubilee opening ceremony was held in Dubai. On 8 March 2018, Queen Elizabeth hosted the Aga Khan at Windsor Castle at a dinner to mark his Diamond Jubilee. During this important time in his life, he is planning to visit his murids around the world. He has already visited the United States, UAE, India, Pakistan, Canada, France, UK, Kenya, and Lisbon during his Diamond Jubilee Malakats. During his visit to Houston, he announced the Ismaili Center Houston. The Diamond Jubilee ended with a grand celebration in Lisbon, Portugal on the 11th of July 2018. People from around the world came to celebrate with their worldwide community. There were many concerts, a Jubilee Arts Festival, and other events planned for tens of thousands of people. Following a historic agreement with the Republic of Portugal in 2015, His Highness the Aga Khan officially designated the premises located at Rua Marcos de Fronteira in Lisbon, the Henrique de Mendonca Palace, as the seat of the Ismaili Imamate on July 11, 2018, and declared that it be known as the Dewan of the Ismaili Imamate. Aga Khan Development Network 
The Aga Khan is the founder and chairman of the Aga Khan Development Network, which coordinates the activities of over 200 agencies and institutions, employing approximately 80,000 paid staff, the majority of whom are based in developing countries. AKDN is partly funded by his followers and donor partners that include numerous governments and several international organizations. AKDN agencies operate in the fields of health, education, culture, rural development, institution building and the promotion of economic development, with a special focus on countries of the third world. It is dedicated to improving living conditions and opportunities for the poor, without regard to their faith, origin or sex. The AKDN's annual budget for non-profit development activities in 2010 was approximately $625 million. The network operates in more than 35 of the poorest countries in the world. AKDN includes the Aga Khan University, the University of Central Asia, the for-profit Aga Khan Fund for Economic Development, the Aga Khan Trust for Culture, the Aga Khan Foundation, the Aga Khan Health Services, the Aga Khan Education Services, the Aga Khan Planning and Building Services, and the Aga Khan Agency for Microfinance. One of the companies that the AKFED is the main shareholder of is the Serena Hotels Group, a chain of luxury hotels and resorts primarily located in Africa and Asia. Despite the Quranic prohibition on alcohol, a prohibition that is accepted by Nazari Ismailis, many of Serena's properties have bars and serve alcohol to guests, including in Muslim nations like Pakistan. The Aga Khan Award for Architecture is the largest architectural award in the world. The Aga Khan is also the chairman of the Board of Governors of the Institute of Ismaili Studies, which he founded in 1977. He is also a vice president of the Royal Commonwealth Society. Focus Humanitarian Assistance, an affiliate of the AKDN, is responsible for emergency response in the face of disaster. Recent disasters that Focus was involved in helping address include the 2005 earthquake in Pakistan AKDN earthquake response and the South Asian tsunami. Significant recent or current projects that are related to development and that are being led by the Aga Khan include the delegation of the Ismaili Imamat and the Global Centre for Pluralism in Ottawa, the Aga Khan Museum in Toronto, the Al-Azhar Park in Cairo, the Bagh-e Babur Restoration in Kabul, and a network of full IB residential schools known as the Aga Khan Academies. The Aga Khan has expressed concern about the work of the AKDN being described as philanthropy. In his address to the Evangelische Akademie Tutzing, when he was awarded their Tolerance Prize in 2006, he described this concern. Reflecting a certain historical tendency of the West to separate the secular from the religious, they often describe the work of the AKDN either as philanthropy or entrepreneurship. What is not understood is that this work is for us a part of our institutional responsibility, it flows from the mandate of the office of Imam to improve the quality of worldly life for the concerned communities. Promotion of Islamic architecture In 1977, the Aga Khan established the Aga Khan Award for Architecture, an award recognizing excellence in architecture that encompasses contemporary design and social, historical, and environmental considerations. It is the largest architectural award in the world prize money for which is a million U.S. dollars and is granted triennially. The award grew out of the Aga Khan's desire to revitalize creativity in Islamic societies and acknowledge creative solutions for buildings facilities and public spaces. The prize winner is selected by an independent master jury convened for each cycle. In 1979, Harvard University and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology MIT established the Aga Khan Program for Islamic Architecture which is supported by an endowment from Aga Khan. These programs provide degree courses, public lectures, and conferences for the study of Islamic architecture and urbanism. Understanding contemporary conditions and developmental issues are key components of the academic program. The program engages in research at both institutions and students can graduate with a Master of Science of Architectural Studies specializing in the Aga Khan program from MIT's Department of Architecture. Topic: Personal finances. Forbes describes the Aga Khan as one of the world's ten richest royals, one rank richer than the Sultan of Oman, with an estimated net worth of one billion dollars, 2010. 
Additionally he is unique among the richest royals as he does not preside over a geographic territory. He owns hundreds of racehorses, valuable stud farms, an exclusive yacht club on Sardinia, a private island in the Bahamas, two bombardier jets, a £100 million high-speed yacht Alamshar, named after his prize racehorse, and several estates around the world, with his primary residence at Aiglemont Estate in the town of Gauvieux, France, north of Paris. The Aga Khan's philanthropic non-profit institutions spend about $925 million per year, mainly in Africa, Asia, and the Middle East. The Aga Khan is and has been involved in multiple business ventures, in such areas as communications media and luxury hotels. In 1959 he founded the Kenyan media company Nation Media Group. In the 1990s, the Aga Khan had a group of $400 a night Italian luxury hotels, called Siga. Currently the Aga Khan, through his for-profit AKFED, is the largest shareholder in the Serena Hotels chain. The Aga Khan's racing horse businesses bring in considerable income. He owns and operates the largest horse racing and breeding operation in France, the French horse auction house, Arcana, Giltown Stud near Kilcullen in Ireland, and other breeding, stud farms in Europe. In 2009, Forbes reported that the Aga Khan's net worth was $800 million, after a decline of $200 million over the course of the previous year. In 2013, Vanity Fair estimated his fortune to be well over $1 billion. Topic. Thoroughbred horse racing At his self-titled estate Aiglemont, in the town of Gauvieu in the Picardy region of France, about 4 km west of the Chantilly racecourse, the Aga Khan operates the largest horse racing and breeding operation in the country. In 1977, he paid £1.3 million for the bloodstock owned by Anna Dupre and in 1978, £4.7 million for the bloodstock of Marcel Boussac. The Aga Khan is said to be France's most influential owner breeder and record winner of the Prix de Diane, sometimes referred to as the French Oaks. The Aga Khan owns Giltown Stud near Kilcullen, Ireland, and the Harris de Bonneville breeding farm at Le Mesnil Mager in France. In March 2005, he purchased the Calvados Stud Farms, the Horace Duye in Pont Duye and the Horace de Val Henry in Liverot. Horace Duye had been owned by such horsemen as the Duc de Cases, Francois Dupre, and Jean Luc Lagardère. In 2006, the Aga Khan became the majority shareholder of French horse auction house Arcana. On 27 October 2009, it was announced that See the Stars, regarded by many as one of the greatest racehorses of all time, would stand stud at the Aga Khan's Giltown Stud in Ireland. His unbeaten homebred filly, Zakova, won the 2008 Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. His homebred colt, Harzond, won the 2016 Epsom Derby and the 2016 Irish Derby. <laughs> Yacht Alamshar The Aga Khan is an ardent yachtsman who co-founded the yacht club Costa Smeralda in Porto Servo, Sardinia in 1967. He commissioned a 164-foot yacht, named Alamshar, with a price tag of £200 million. The cost and maintenance are partly covered by chartering. The yacht is named after a prized racehorse of his, and was supposed to have a top speed of 60 knots as part of his hope of setting a new transatlantic speed record. However, the yacht only reached a top speed of 30 knots in its initial trials. Titles, styles and honors Titles and styles 1936–1957, Prince Karim Aga Khan From 1957, His Highness the Aga Khan IV from 1959, His Royal Highness the Aga Khan IV the title Prince SS is used by the Aga Khans and their children by virtue of their descent from Shah Fath Ali Shah of the Persian Qajar dynasty. The title was officially recognized by the British government in 1938. Author Farhad Daftari wrote of how the honorific title Aga Khan from Aga and Khan was first given to Aga Khan I at the age of 13 after the murder of his father. At the same time, the Qajar monarch bestowed on him the honorific title Lakhab of Aga Khan also transcribed as Aqa Khan, meaning Lord and Master." Daftari additionally commented, 
the title of Aga Khan remained hereditary amongst his successors. On the other hand, in a legal proceeding, the Aga Khan III noted that Aga Khan is not a title, but, instead a sort of alias or pet name. That was given to Aga Khan I when he was a young man. The style of His Highness was formally granted to the Aga Khan IV by Queen Elizabeth II in 1957 upon the death of his grandfather Aga Khan III. The granting of the title to the Aga Khan IV was preceded by a strong express desire of the Aga Khan III to see the British monarchy award the non hereditary title to his successor. The style of His Royal Highness was granted in 1959 to the Aga Khan IV by Mohammad Reza Pahlavi, the Shah of Iran, later overthrown in the Iranian Revolution of 1979, but he uses instead His Highness. Over the years, the Aga Khan has received numerous honors, honorary degrees, and awards. Honors <laughs> <laughs> Bahrain, Member First Class of the Order of Bahrain 2003. Canada, Honorary Companion of the Order of Canada CC, 2005. Comoros, Grand Cross of the Order of the Green Crescent 1966. France, Commander of the Legion of Honor 1990. France, Commander of the Order of Arts and Letters 2010. India, Padma Vibhushan 2015. Iran, Grand Cordon of the Order of the Crown 1967. Italy, Knight Grand Cross of the Order of Merit of the Italian Republic. The Aga Khan is the first Muslim to receive the honor 1977. Italy, Knight of the Order of Merit for Labor 1988. Ivory Coast, Grand Cross of the National Order 1965. Kenya, Chief of the Order of the Golden Heart of Kenya CGH, 2007. Madagascar, Grand Cross of the National Order of Malagasy Republic 1966. Mali, Grand Cross of the National Order of Mali 2008. Mauritania, Commander of the National Order of Merit of Mauritania 1960. Morocco, Grand Cordon of the Order of the Throne 1986. Pakistan, Nishan-i Imtiaz 1970. Pakistan, Nishan e Pakistan, NPK, 1983. Portugal, Grand Cross of the Order of Prince Henry, GCIH, 1960. Portugal, Grand Cross of the Order of Merit, GCM, 1998. Portugal, Grand Cross of the Order of Christ, GCC, 2005. Portugal, Grand Cross of the Order of Liberty, GCL, 2017. Senegal, Grand Officer of the Order of the National Lion 1982. Spain, Knight Grand Cross of the Order of Civil Merit 1991. Tajikistan, Recipient of the Order of Friendship 1998. Uganda, Collar of the Order of the Pearl of Africa 2017. United Kingdom, Ordinary Knight Commander of the Order of the British Empire KBE, 2003. Upper Volta, Grand Cross of the National Order of Upper Volta 1965. Zanzibar, Grand Cross of the Order of the Brilliant Star of Zanzibar 1957. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Honorary Degrees. Canada Honorary LL.D. Degree, Simon Fraser University 2018. Canada – Honorary LL.D. Degree, University of British Columbia 2018 Canada – Honorary LL.D. Degree, University of Calgary 2018 Canada – Honorary LL.D. Degree, McGill University 1983 Canada – Honorary LL.D. Degree, McMaster University 1987 Canada – Honorary LL.D. Degree, University of Toronto 2004 Canada, Honorary LL.D. Degree, University of Alberta 2009 Canada, Honorary Dunnev Degree, University of Ottawa 2012 Canada, Honorary D.S. Lit. Degree, University of Toronto 2013 Canada, Honorary LL.D. Degree, University of Calgary to be granted October 2018 Portugal, Honorary Ph.D. Degree, Nova University of Lisbon 2017 United Kingdom, Honorary LL.D. Degree, University of Wales 1993. 
United Kingdom, Honorary DD Degree, University of Cambridge 2009. United States, Honorary LL.D. Degree, Brown University 1996. United States, Honorary LL.D. Degree, Harvard University 2008. Topic. Awards Canada – Key to the City of Ottawa 2005. Canada – Honorary Canadian Citizenship 2009. France – Silver Medal of the Académie d'Architecture France – Insignia of Honor, International Union of Architects 2001. France – Associate Foreign Member, Académie des Beaux-Arts France, Philanthropic Entrepreneur of the Year, by La Nouvelle Économiste, Paris 2009. Germany, Die Quadriga Award, the United We Care Award 2005. Germany, Tolerance Prize of the Evangelical Academy of Tutzing 2006. Italy, Honorary Citizen of the Town of Arzacena 1962. Italy, Gold Mercury Ad Personam Award, Non-State Organization 1982. Ivory Coast, Freeman of Abidjan, and presented with a key to the city of Abidjan 1960. Jordan, one of the 500 most influential Muslims in the world, by Royal Islamic Strategic Studies Center 2009-13. Kazakhstan, State Award for Peace and Progress 2002. Kazakhstan, Honored Educator of the Republic of Kazakhstan 2008. Kenya, Honorary Citizen of the Town of Kisumu 1981. Madagascar, key to the city of Majunga 1966. Mali, honorary citizen of the Islamic Ummah of Timbuktu 2003. Mali, citizen of honor of the municipality of Timbuktu 2008. Pakistan, honorary colonel of the 6th Lancers by the Pakistani Army 1970. Pakistan, honorary citizen of Lahore, and presented with a key to the city of Lahore 1980. Pakistan, Honorary Membership, Pakistan Medical Association, Sindh 1981. Pakistan, Key to the City of Karachi 1981. Pakistan, Honorary Fellowship of the College of Physicians and Surgeons Pakistan CPSP 1985. Portugal, Key to the City of Lisbon 1996. Portugal, Foreign Member, Class of Humanities, by Lisbon Academy of Sciences 2009. Portugal, 2013 North-South Prize of the Council of Europe 2014. Scotland, Carnegie Medal for Philanthropy 2005. Spain, Guest of Honor of Granada 1991. Spain, Honorary Citizen of Granada 1991. Spain, Gold Medal of the City of Granada 1998. Spain, Royal Toledo Foundation Real Fundación de Toledo Award 2006. Sweden, Archon Award, International Nursing Honor Society, Sigma Theta Tau International 2001. Tanzania, Honorary Citizen of Dar es Salaam 2005. United Kingdom, The Gold Mercury International, A.D. Personam, Award 1982. United Kingdom, Honorary Fellowship, Royal Institute of British Architects 1991. United Kingdom, Andrew Carnegie Medal of Philanthropy 2005. United Kingdom, winner of the 10th Annual Peter O'Sullivan Award at the Savoy in London 2006. United States, Thomas Jefferson Memorial Foundation Medal in Architecture, University of Virginia 1984. United States, Institute Honor of the American Institute of Architects 1984. United States, Honorary Member of the American Institute of Architects 1992. United States, Foreign Honorary Member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences 1996. United States, Hadrian Award, World Monuments Fund 1996. United States, Vincent Scully Prize, National Building Museum 2005. United States, Key to the City of Austin 2008. United States, Key to the City of Sugar Land, Texas 2018. United States, Uli J.C. Nichols Prize for Visionaries in Urban Development, Los Angeles 2011. 
Uzbekistan, honorary citizen of the city of Samarkand and presented with a key to the city of Samarkand 1992. <laughs> Ancestry See also Aga Khan Aga Khan Award for Architecture Aga Khan Development Network Aga Khan University Fatimids Ismaili Center Ismailism List of Ismaili Imams Nazari Yacht Club Costa Smeralda <laughs>